Hi everyone, it's Raziel Kane. I'm back with another tour review and today I'm glad to present Pipes, which I got from DJC Collectibles, my favorite online store, because I don't have to pay shipping because he's in the Ottawa area, so that's a plus. And uh, also I'm going to do something different because I'm going to review Huffer as well because I never did a Huffer review. Same mold, slight retooling, different paint job, two characters I actually never really cared for. Huffer was a you know, negative pessimistic bot that I didn't care for and Pipes just showed up in season 3 and I hadn't seen the movie so I didn't know my favorite characters, all how they died, why they weren't in season 3. I only saw the movie way later but Pipes was never a prominent figure in season 3. He just protected or tried to and failed miserably to protect Autobot City or actually the, the art and then after that I don't think we saw him. Out of all the mini bots, the new mini bots we saw in the show uh, in season 3 I think Pipes was with Swerve and Tailgate and all those guys that we barely see but then we uh, saw Up back a couple more times so I think he had more exposure but Pipes never really. So those two characters are not close to my heart but the mold is so great that I couldn't pass it up. So let's take a look at these two figures and afterwards if you like it, hit like, subscribe and hit the bell. Thanks! It's two things I really hate, Ron! What are they? Fire and water! As Optimus Prime used to say, transform and roll out! Alright, let's take a look at what we have in those boxes. First, with Huffer, I got an Ark, again. And it's which one? Uh, the it's Decepticon arc, or maybe Decepticon shut down arc. It's kind of hard to show you with the ring light, but you know, lighting is important apparently. Uh, there we go. I don't like it the puff. I like it when it's really smooth. And it's one thing that's kind of annoying with these is they catch air really good. All right. And then with uh, Pipes, I picked up my first Unicron, which I think looks really good. And then, of course, you have this. It's kind of weird that he's eating Cybertron, because he actually never did eat Cybertron. He attacked Cybertron in robot mode. And in the show, you never actually saw... In the show, you never actually saw Unicron, you only saw the planet not the robot mode but anyway I'm glad this is my first one potentially my last one because we always get the same cards uh, then we have the instruction for Huffer which are very similar to the instruction for pipes so that's done and then you have the box themselves which interesting this is the original design or drawing which looks really good and then here you have pipes which is the same truck but they didn't uh, fix the arms or the pipes because it's not the same mold so this is just a straight recolor and then for the character of course they corrected added the proper accessory head sculpt and the way the truck cab is uh, folded and then in the back uh, well it's a product shot so you can see the difference in pipes or smoke exhaust thing and good artwork the kingdom stuff do we have a cameo an easter egg not really and now oh you moved and now the figures themselves like i said never really cared for the characters but you cannot deny that these are fantastic molds and i like the retooling because you can tell you know there's maybe i can get this a little closer if you look, it's a different mold even at the top of the arms. At the shoulders, it's not the same thing. The arms are completely different. Uh, of course, same tooling, but you can see on Huffer there's some added details, while Pipes is really a, just a smooth round shoulder. Uh, and it's the same elbow on both, kind of breaks moves forward and then the arm is different because pipes has those little uh, huffer has those little groups and uh, pipes doesn't but it's different enough to be interesting taking a look at the accessories you have the split gun that's what I call it because it splits and actually I've seen a post online this is a very very 
maybe unintentional, but a fateful copy of a Halo gun. I, I, I don't know which gun, because I haven't played Halo in a while. It's probably a machine gun. But somebody showed a side-by-side -side picture, and it really looked pretty much identical. And then the shield claw. Whoops. Well, there you go. Um, it's, it's not something that he had in the cartoon. I think it's a good addition because I think shields should be a standard equipment for any combat situation. And then you have pipes, which comes with those two extra smokestack. And uh, they're pretty plain with a bit of waffle, but it looks really good anyway. Sorry for the long pause there. The uh, difference in cab is interesting. Uh, they could have easily added that rotation to pipe uh, to Huffer as well. I'm gonna misname them, so you know, get used to it. Uh, they could have used a, the same technique here to uh, turn the cab around. You know, if you want to have a uh, twins picture. But uh, I think they should have used that, maybe. Uh, it would have helped uh, for display purposes or if you want to angle it better. I don't know. But this is very faithful to the uh, the G1 toy, which I actually had. I had the G1 toy for him. My friend had the toy for pipes. And the arms were different a little bit. And the transformation was slightly different. And uh, kind of like this. It was uh, just different enough to know that it's different characters. Same legs, no real difference. It's the same thing, the same paint application on the tail lights. And if you flip them, it's not the same wheels. Oh, I've just noticed that this one has, you know, three little rivet on the side. Let me show it a little closer. See, he has those three little rivets while pipes. Is smooth as a baby's bum. Interesting. Um, I prefer Huffer. Uh, honestly, I think it looks better. Uh, but you can see same, uh, same foot, feet. Because there's two. Uh, same legs. The face sculpt is very, very different because they're different characters entirely. I'm not picking up uh, Puffer and Road Ranger, but I think Huffer has the only mold like that because both of the others have faceplates. It's not the exact same mold as this for one of the two, but uh, it still has a faceplate. And then the cab itself, if you let me flip this again, it's the same cab, just different color. And the window tint is different. Because, uh, yeah, paint-wise, I think Huffer has a little more paint uh, details or just different area. Like, he has you know, three colors on the chest and the, the crotch, while Pipes is just plain blue. Uh, the Autobot logo here, here, same size, good on both. I have to say, I think I prefer, even if there's more paint here, I think I prefer the colors on this guy because he's more... I'm colorblind, so I'm seeing this as a, a dark purple. It might be just navy blue. Who knows? Life is full of mysteries like that. So now let's do some size comparison. With Autobot Leader Earthrise Prime, which is a Voyager size, even though he's sold as a leader because of the trailer. Actual Leader Class Studio Series 86 Grimlock with Toy Hacks decals. And for the heck of it, Siege Ravage, which I think people are, have been harsh on this figure. I like it. Pipes with Wavemate Slammer, War for Cybertron Netflix Spoiler Pack Nemesis Prime, and Leader Class Studio Series 86 Slag, who's munching on some Energon Conductors. Cause you know, Dinobots is what they do. So now that we've looked at them in Robot Mode, let's take a look at them in Alt Mode. So what you want to do is take off the accessories, then you're gonna flip those. and then clip those like this and then fold it and there you go quickly as that now let's do pipes same steps you want to remove the accessories so that they don't get in the way 
You want to clip those legs together, flip those like this, move the cab, move the arm, and put it like this, and done. And I, I'm, you see here, I'm not able to clip this, well, both arms. Uh, this one doesn't have that much of a gap, but I can't properly clip this arm so that he's, you know, he always pushes back a little bit. So there's always a little gap there, but fantastic molds. Both of them very faithful to their representation uh, of uh, alt mode in the show. In alt mode, it's similar paint application. So you have paint for uh, the headlights or the top light. I don't know what you call those paint application here. Um, more detailed on this one because there's that extra line. If you take a look, this is all on the hover. It's all silver. And then on pipes, there's that blue line. Maybe it's a mist paint, but it makes it pop a little more. Same hood. On the side, you have the extra where the on the side where the accessory shows a little more. All right, sorry about the bad cutting, but there I dropped a figure. Anyway, if you take a look at the uh, the paint here, it's uh, like I said, it's uh, different enough on the side. You have uh, the different wheels. Uh, you have that big hole here on both figures, so you can see across the whole thing. I think that could have been handled a little better. Um, the wheels uh, different, like I said, looks good. Uh, you can see the difference in the mold for the, the smokestack. Looks really good. Back, you have the tail light, more details because of the accessories on Huffer. Uh, but you have those, you know, he's carrying pipes. So carrying part of yourself and uh, the hand two two tones, you know, they're not high. Um, they're not hidden really well here, here either, but it's the same color. So I guess it blends in a little better. So he's actually a little misaligned. Uh, there you go. So both figures are respectively fantastic. And now I'm just going to remove the accessories. To do the obvious, oh, sorry, comparison. Of course, we've all seen this image before because it's that one episode. Let me take that load, Optimus. You're a true friend, Huffer. But let's do something different for something we haven't seen, like this. And I really like the look of the trailer, the Nemesis Prime trailer on pipes. And then if you want to do other people have done this, if it looks actually a little better, if you put the pipes here, it doesn't look too bad to have the extra accessories. Let me reset this like this. And now to do some size comparison, here's Huffer with Buzzwordy Bumblebee Origin Bumblebee which is one of the most fantastic thing that's ever been produced. Collaborative figure Gigawatt, because that's how Doc Brown pronounced it. And Core Class Soundwave, who's been toy hacks. And now Pipes with Generation Selects Galvatron, Battle Master Slitter Fang, and the Idiot Trust. Wanna know why I call him an idiot? Cause who the hell puts a gun in the middle of a spinning turbine? And we're back from transformation and I completely forgot my French word of the day. Camion, which means truck for, I hope, obvious reasons. In the end, both of those characters are still not close to my heart, but I love these molds. Pipes is a retooling of the Huffer mold and they did a fantastic job on it. I don't think they could have done anything any better, except maybe fill in some of the gap in waffles, but I have really no complaint about any of those figures. It's fantastic. I'm glad to have them in my collection. Again, I picked up pipes at DJC Collectibles. You can see the link in the descriptions. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also leave a comment. I love reading those. And remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care.